Welcome to another educational video by Catspit Productions. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about mesh preparation. This is a procedure that you do before you coat your screen with emulsion. And the reason you do it is to remove any grease, dust, dirt, grime, any kind of uh, foreign material that will uh, affect the adhesion of the emulsion to the mesh you want to remove. Okay, and by preparing your mesh properly and well for your coating of emulsion, you can eliminate problems with pinholes, fish eyes, um, moons, sometimes they're called moons or half moons, uh, and premature stencil wear. So this is something that Degreasing is something that you want to do every time you're going to coat your screen with emulsion. Okay. Now, there's also a uh, mesh preparation part for brand new mesh, which is called uh, abrading the mesh. And when you get your mesh for the first time and it's brand new, you want to abrade the fabric just a little bit, just very finely, so that it has a little bit of tooth for the emulsion to grab onto. If you don't abrade new mesh, you could have stencil adhesion problems uh, because the mesh is just so, it's so uh, brand new and still wrapped tightly and it has very little fibers for the um, emulsion to, to grab onto. So by abrading it with a micro grid, you can, you can rough it up just enough so that the emulsion sticks to it nicely and is very happy on the mesh. Okay, so mesh prep is basically two parts. It's degreasing and if you need to when your mesh is brand new, you abrade it with micro grid. Okay, you don't want to abrade your screen every time you coat it with emulsion. That would cause the mesh to prematurely wear and break down and lose its integrity and also performance. The, the, the more you abrade the mesh, and more hair, the more hairy the fibers are, actually, uh, when you look at it under a microscope, the less well or the, le you know, the performance of the stencil suffers as the mesh becomes more fibrous. Okay? So, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that today. Now, I wanted to, I, I wanted to say, first of all, for, for you guys who print at home, we know that mesh prep and chemicals and stuff like that can be expensive for you to buy and can, you know, you know, difficult to work with in a residential area and things like that. However, I want to point out that if you do choose to use, some people use Comet for their abrasion to abrade new mesh, and some people will use H, uh, well, uh, you know, a dish detergent to degrease. And obviously, I have these in here, and these are, some, these are my absolute last resort backups. The reason why you don't want to use these is for, for abrasion, this particular comet, this degreaser, this, this um, cleanser, it's far too gritty. It's too rough. It will abrade the screen more than you want it to. So, if you're a home printer and you really want to just use what you can and get by, you can use this, but use it very sparingly and, and certainly not every time, you know, you're just going to do it once with the brand new mesh and very sparingly and very lightly. Be very careful. This stuff will ruin your mesh, uh, if, especially if you use it repeatedly, okay? So, that brings us to this as far as degreasing. And, you know, yeah, it's a, a super degreaser. It's true, they do work on dishes, but a lot of these products have lanolin and uh, what's called, uh, I think it's called uh, wool grease or something to this effect. Uh, they have additives that help keep your hands from, from getting too dry. Okay, so those additives can often make your degreasing counterproductive with this particular uh, soap. Okay, so if you use a soap, you probably want to find some industrial, basic industrial soap that has, you know, no ad, it's not made for dishes. It's made for like, I don't know, washing a car. I don't know, you have to look into that. I mean, you gotta make sure there's no additives that are gonna mess up what you're trying to do. Okay, so ultimately, that's why I suggest buying mesh prep from a screen print vendor, 
a supply vendor. Use a degreaser that's made for screen printing and it's going to make your life easier. That's just the bottom line. That's just the way it is, okay? So, let's do it. Okay, so we're just going to wet it. All right. You're going to take your mesh prep and you're going to get it on there. Spray it on there nicely. Get it all over the place. You know, when the screen's open like this, it's it kind of goes through, so it may not be necessary to do both spray both sides. You just do one side, it's fine. You get your brush, which is a clean brush. You want to have a brush that is not contaminated, contaminated with anything, and you're going to use it to scrub the screen. Like so. Okay, and that's it. You're going to let that sit for a minute, maybe. Okay, and letting it sit for a minute uh, lets the degreaser, you know, work and pull the grease off of the mesh. And uh, make sure to visit the Cat Spit Productions website at catspitproductionsllc.com and visit the new article archives page in the printing, se printing article section. And there's a new article on mesh prep, uh, which goes into detail about the chemicals and a little bit and which ones you can use and all that kind of stuff. So make sure to check out the mesh preparation uh, article on the Catspit website in the brand new article archive section, which is where all the newest articles from Catspit Productions will be posted. So now let's wash it out. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now I'm going to flood it out to rinse it. flood your screen, you can see that my pressure washer has two parts. It has the pressure washer and this part which lets water through. So just regular garden hose type pressure water. And this is good to flood the screen and rinse it well of the degreaser, the mesh prep. Make sure to rinse the edges of the frame because chemical contaminants can uh, drip from the edges of the frame while it's drying and go into the mesh and cause problems. So rinse the entire frame very well. And that's it. Now you just set it down to dry. Make sure it dries in, a, in uh, an area that's not going to get it full dust again, right? And that's it. Thanks for watching Cat Spit Productions educational videos. Don't forget to visit catspitproductionsllc.com. Subscribe and rate five stars. Thanks for watching.